We get the same question all the time. Which one of these machines that does the milk automatically is the hottest and the best foam? Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you the foam and the temperature on the Cream Madonna from DeLonghi, the J9 from Jura, the Oracle from Breville, and the Expralia from Seiko, the Expralia Evo. So let's just get into it. We're going to just make um, just hot milk. That's all we're going to do. We're going to look at the quality of the foam, and then we're going to take its temperature as it's producing. And all these milks were just poured out of the fridge. They're like 44 degrees, and all the cups are room temperature. One eighteen. Looks like that's the hottest. One eighteen. And then in the cup, one sixteen or so. One seventeen. So one eighteen. So it's about the same in the cup. I would say the quality of the foam is um, a little bit of big bubbles, as you saw. Not as dense as much foam. If I wanted a, a uh, like a macchiato foam or a cappuccino foam. That's a little bit on the limp side, I would say. Okay, let's try the Jura. One twelve. Yep, one twelve was the uh, was the most. see what it's like. Much denser foam. I would say it makes a finer foam. It isn't quite as hot, just a little bit less. But I think the quality of the foam is a little nicer when it comes to the temperature. Of course, this one, we've got it programmed for on the top side of what they call the sweet zone, which is 149. If you go above that, what happens to milk is it changes the properties of it and it doesn't taste quite as good. So up to about that point, it will have its best flavor. And on this one, we took it up to a cappuccino foam to give it the best foam that we can get, which we're hoping to, you know, make a fair comparison here. And of course, I don't have to use a thermometer because I already know. Of course, we could see how accurate that is, I guess. It's running about the same degrees. All right. This says 151, 154. So it, it runs over a little bit. I can see that. Well, this started out down here and the foam is up here. The foam is really nice. Very nice. I'll just drink it right out of the pitcher. Very creamy, very sweet, good foam. Like that. I gotta wipe that off. That machine probably needs some more water, so I'm just going to shut it off. That's all that is. It needs water. Okay, on the Expralia, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, 124. Went zoomed right up to it, too. 124.5 was the hottest on that one. It's getting a little cooler now. Which, that's, that's typical, too. So... 124.5, that's the hottest out of the super automatics. 
Let's see what the foam is like. Got some bigger bubbles there. Foam's not bad. I would say it's comparable to the uh, Jura. It's hotter than those two. And of course, nothing's going to beat this as far as temperature goes because it really isn't all, it almost isn't a fair comparison. It's an automatic, uh, it's an automatic frother, but you can change the temperature up here. So, so number one as far as super automatics go, two and three, either way, I would say number two because the foam was better, number three because the foam wasn't quite as good, and of course number one right here because it gets hotter and the foam is probably the densest and the nicest that we got. So that's the uh, answer to that question. Uh, Leave some comments down below. Do some experiments at home. I want to hear back from you what you found on your machines. And you might have some other models. Let us know what you found out. And um, thanks for watching this video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can watch all the future videos. You'll get the announcements. And hopefully you have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon.